Welcome to this episode of Cars Plus. My name is Trish. With the help of David Spence, I produced 15 videos about the restoration of the classic car that you see here. This video is about our 1926 Kissel 655 Brougham, where it was auctioned August 15, 2019 in Monterey, California. Monterey is located on California's central coast. At one time, it was known as Canary Row, the center of the sardine packing industry. Today, it is a popular tourist attraction, a strip of gift shops, seafood restaurants, and bars that are now in renovated factories. We took some time to walk along Fisherman's Wharf and enjoy the beautiful blue ocean view, the fresh salty sea air, seagulls, the occasional sea lion, ocean vessels, and abundant sunshine. From here, it felt like the perfect place to hold a car auction. We couldn't have asked for better weather. In a short moment, I will take you to the auction scene. This is the very first thing that I saw when I came through the auction gate. I quickly snapped some photos with my cell phone so I could send them back in the form of text messages to all my friends back in Prescott, Arizona. While we were driving across the deserts of Arizona and California, I had something in my imagination what the cars might look like on display, maybe on a golf course or something really glamorous. Here we have something that's really quite compact. All the cars are lined up in a corral and ready to roll across the auction block. This footage is from August the 15th, late afternoon, just to give you an idea what things were like and what we were up against. Who remembers the Ford Pinto? Isn't that great? And maybe you recognize this uh, gentleman here on the print shirt. Maybe you've seen him somewhere. For the time of day that we were there, it still seemed like the crowd was a little bit thin and I was hoping that things would change in the next maybe hour or so. There were a few things I saw that were off the main site. Maybe these are items that were staged for later that evening or possibly the next day. I got a charge out of this Batmobile and had a little bit of fun shooting some of these scenes. This neat race car caught my eye too. What I have here for the next couple of minutes is a little more video, just some quick and easy things to show you more of the scene a little bit later in the day going toward the evening. This venue was next to the RM Sotheby's auction that was held the same weekend. We could pretty much see some of it from where we were standing. Now that auction will have a story to go with it that will go down in automotive history. That is the auction where the 1939 Porsche Type 64, a rare Nazi era Porsche, failed after an auction snafu. You'll have to look that up and uh, decide for yourself what really happened there. It was really something. I have about four minutes of video coming up for the auction and I'm just showing you a few samples of what was there, what the general mood was like, what the size of the audience, um, participation, and I don't give the prices on anything. I thought, well, you know, that'd be easy to find once I got home, but I've been searching in vain and the results are extremely difficult to find. And I'm sure maybe in the next three, four months, we'll see the auction results published. This is the setting right here. Positively beautiful. I hope you enjoy what's coming up. Sports Sedan of the Day, 1950. 
Please bear with me. It is amazing how quickly five minutes will pass when it's your car that's on the auction block. Here we go. 1926 Kissel, 655 Rome. All right, let's go to the 249. It is very rare. 1926 Kissel, 200 Rome. What about 200 surviving vehicles, ladies and gentlemen? Original chassis numbers are here. It's got a Kissel drive tray, custom built engine. Recognized as a full classic by the CCCA, you can cruise up to 60 miles per hour. It's got 15 restoration videos documented on YouTube. You can watch the entire restoration. Alright, all right. Focus is all. Let's go to the Yeah, absolutely. That's our 19th 
26. 80% of the wood is original. Original wood? Ultra rare. Absolutely. It's got the ultra rare perfection for your salts. Salts and cedar specific. Thanks a lot, pal. Right here, 1926 Kissel. 23, 25, 